Welcome to the eHRAF World Cultures tutorial. The following presentation includes a brief description of ethnology, followed by a basic tutorial on how to use the eHRAF World Cultures database. Anthropology is the study of humankind at all times and in all places. Anthropologists from each of the four fields use their theories and methods to explain why we are the way we are, asking questions such as, how did our species come to exist and persist over time? Why are there different peoples and cultures in the world? And what accounts for their similarities and differences? Within cultural or social anthropology, there are two main approaches to describing and explaining human culture. Ethnography is the study of a people through on-location research, known as field work, in order to describe and explain human culture. It is the first-hand, systematic study of a single people in order to better understand culture and to test anthropological theory. And then there is ethnology, a comparative study of peoples that uses ethnographic records to discover and explain cross-cultural patterns and variation in human culture. The research questions that ethnologists ask tend to take several basic forms, perhaps the most fundamental and common of which is, does a particular behavior or aspect of culture exist in all known human societies? An answer of yes would lead the researcher to question why it exists in all known human societies, while an answer of no would lead the researcher to wonder why it exists in some societies but not in others. Which is to say that both similarities and differences in human behavior demand an explanation. A recent study posed the cross-cultural research question, does romantic kissing exist in all known human societies? What do you think? If unsure how to answer, it is because from this information alone, one could only guess at what the answer might be. We lack predictive power because we have no theoretical basis by which to suppose what the answer might be. With theory, we can restate the question of does a particular behavior or aspect of culture exist in all known human societies as a prediction. A particular behavior or aspect of culture should exist in all known human societies or should not based on hypothesis X. This is to state that ethnologists use ethnographic records to test predictions derived from theory. Of course, a researcher might simply want to discover and describe similarities and differences in some behavior or aspect of culture across human societies, but one is still left with the question of why there are similarities and differences. Ethnological research is often correlational, seeking to answer research questions regarding an association between two or more variables across human societies or in one or more specific regions or types of regions and so forth. The Human Relations Area Files or HRAF at Yale University is a nonprofit organization that facilitates cross-cultural research and produces learning resources. HRAF grew out of an interdisciplinary research program known as the Institute of Human Relations, which was established at Yale University in 1929. IHR researchers began developing a system for the rapid retrieval of data on a wide range of societies called the Cross-Cultural Survey. HRAF was incorporated as a nonprofit membership organization in 1949 in order to promote the Cross-Cultural Survey on a broader scale. EHRAF World Cultures is an ethnographic database covering a worldwide sample of societies. HRAF anthropologists have indexed each of the ethnographic documents at the paragraph level based on two main classification systems. The Outline of World Cultures is a classification system for the cultures of the world. EHRAF has over 300 cultures with new cultures added to the database each year. The Outline of Cultural Materials, or OCM, is a classification system for ethnographic subjects. The OCM contains over 90 major subjects with over 700 subcategories. OWCs can be found in the Browse Cultures tab. 
cultures can be browsed using the A to Z index or searched for by typing into the filter index. OWCs can also be browsed by region, by country, and by map. For each culture, there is an indexed culture summary, collection description, and list of collection documents. OCMs can be found under the Browse Subjects tab. Suppose we are interested in the subject of tattoos. Using the A to Z index, we can click on the letter T to find the relevant subject codes, or we can begin to type tattoo into the filter index. OCMs can also be browsed under the Major Subjects tab and under the OCM Identifier tab. With what we have learned in mind, let's set up a search query. Click on the Advanced Search. Choose any or all of the cultures that you would like to search under the Add Cultures column. If you do not add any cultures, all of the cultures in the database will be searched by default. Let's choose Add All in order to see the populated list. Use the Add Subjects column to choose any or all of the subjects to be included in the search. Continuing with Tattoos as our example, type Tattoo into the Filter Index. Search both the Body Alterations code, number 304, and the Beauty Specialist code, number 305. Above the list, there are two Boolean operators, AND, AND, OR. Boolean operators connect and define the relationship between the keywords in a search. AND is used to include all of the codes in the search results. OR is used to include any of the codes in the search results. NOT is used to exclude codes from the search results. Results. Let's choose OR in order to broaden our results. We will return to add keywords in a bit. For now, click Search. The search results populate at the top of the page. There are options to narrow results by subsistence type and sample, which we will return to later in the tutorial. The results are organized by region, subregion, culture name, OWC, subsistence type, the samples that include the results, the number of documents, and lastly, the number of paragraphs. Scrolling down to Oceania, then to Polynesia, we find the Maori. Clicking on the culture name brings us to the document and paragraph results page. On the left, we find three sortable columns, results, documents, and time curve. We also find three columns to the right. The subjects, or OCM column, contains the subjects that can be found in that paragraph, with the search for codes presented in bold. Results are given in snippet view by default. Clicking on Show Paragraph brings up the full paragraph, and clicking Show Page brings up the result in its full page context. To the left, the table of contents features publication information, as well as front matter, such as the preface, the body of the text, organized by chapter, and back matter, such as the references list. The publication information contains a wealth of information about the text, including an abstract that was written by a HRAF analyst. On the lower left, we find citations for the text in four different citation styles, along with options for exporting the citation. Returning to the full page view of the result, clicking the page list to the upper right reveals a list of page numbers, with each result found in the text indicated by a magnifying glass icon. Returning to the Advanced Search tab, Let's try combining subject codes with keywords. But before we begin, there are a few things to point out. First, be sure to truncate search terms 
using an asterisk as needed. The term tattoo must be truncated so that the search results include its variant endings. Second, be mindful of the Boolean operators between the add subjects and add keywords columns. I am going to choose the OR Boolean operator. Then click search. Again, scrolling down to Polynesia, we find the Maori. As you can see, keywords appear in bold, which makes it easier to skim the results. Using the back arrow on your web browser, return to the main results page. Scroll to the top to find the narrow results by subsistence type and sample option. The left side contains eight different subsistence types by which the search results can be filtered. Hover above a subsistence type for a brief description. The right side contains four different samples by which the search results can be filtered. The first is George Peter Murdoch's 1967 Ethnographic Atlas, which was his attempt to create an exhaustive list of world cultures. The Ethnographic Atlas contains over 1,260 cultures. More than 20% of these cultures can be found in the eHRAF World Cultures database. Most were pinpointed to a specific time and place in order to facilitate cumulative coding and ensure valid comparisons. Second on the list, the probability sample files is a stratified random sample of 60 cultures that was created by dividing the world into culture areas and randomly choosing one case from a list of societies that met certain data quality control criteria. Third on the list, Murdoch and White's 1969 standard cross-cultural sample divides the ethnographic atlas into culture areas and includes the best documented society from each. The SCCS contains 186 cultures. More than 80% of these cultures can be found in eHRAF world cultures. Over the next few years, HRAF plans to include all 186 of these cultures in our database. Lastly, HRAF's simple random sample is a non-stratified sample of over 2,000 cultures, each with an equal chance for inclusion except for the need to have an equivalent of at least one comprehensive ethnography. There are 28 cultures in the simple random sample, with new cases added from time to time. Thank you for listening to our tutorial and enjoy your research with eHRAF World Cultures.